What's up, everybody? Welcome to What's in the Box, the show where we find out, well, the title of the show, What's in the Box. And today, we're going to find out what's in the box of the Detective Pikachu. What are they calling this? They're calling this the Pokemon's Treasure Chest. This is the fifth and final one of these we'll be doing because it's the fifth and final variant of these. So far, we've done the Detective Pikachu case file, Mewtwo, Greninja, and Charizard, and this is the final level. So we'll check that out. My camera doesn't know what color to do. No? Okay. Looks like it's figured it out. Uh, this one actually, thankfully, is nicely just wrapped like this. Um, the contents of this are... <clears throat> Let me get my reading voice here. <sighs> Seven Pokemon trading card game Detective Pikachu booster packs. Uh, two additional Pokemon trading card game booster packs. A cool collector's pin inspired by Detective Pikachu. And a Pokemon notepad and sticker sheet. So this one is the top of them. The others contained two, four, or five, depending on depending on which one you bought. As far as the uh, trading card game Detective Pikachu specific packs are. And then most of them con contained two additional booster packs so uh this retails for 25 dollars um and let's uh let's crack into it and the bonus part is that now i have a place for all my pokemon cards they didn't put that on there but they should have so here i'll show you first i'll angle it up there we go. Detective Pikachu. Ooh. Oops, sorry about that. So we have this cool pen. This one's like the Greninja one, where it's um, a pen that you can stick on on stuff, uh, which is very neat. Did I lose it already? Oh no, it's good. Okay, it's good. We're in there. Um, and then it has another coin. This is similar. To, this is actually the exact same coin that we got in the Detective Pikachu case file box. It's kind of that cheap plastic. Uh, I won't flip it because we all remember what happened last time. And then just, oops, pulling that out. That's where all the cards are. So, have all the cards here. We'll look at those, uh, more of those in a second. Pop those out. Ouch. That was right in my thumb. Ow. Damn it. There's the back side. It didn't show off the back side. Or the side side. Or the bottom side. Or the other side side. Or the top side. But it did show off the front side. And the inside. The camera really doesn't know what to do. It's very confused. Um, so this is cool. I like... Looks... Looks good. It's not like dented or anything yet. Um, and it's nice to have a place where I can put all of my Pokemon cards. So that's good. Uh, finally, we have a little sticker sheet. Just Detective Pikachu in various poses and colors. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I don't know if any of these are like cool enough to really put on anything. I have like a sticker on my laptop, but... That's about it. And then there's a Detective Pikachu uh, notepad, which features the same design that's on the side of the lunchbox. Um, yeah. Features however many sheets that is. So that's pretty cool. Here we have all the sets of cards. We have the seven. Count them. Seven. Detective. I can't figure this out yet. Hang on. Do it. And then we'll fan them out like this. There we go. Detective Pikachu Pokemon trading cards. Each come with four. This is the final part of this. So these are probably going to be mostly duplicates. Uh, but hopefully there is one or two new cards in there somewhere. And hopefully not too many Magikarps. Uh, and then with this we have a two, or two sets of Sun and Moon cards. Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion. And Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. That one's a little bit harder to read because the text is a little dark, a little dark red. 
Uh, so we'll open these last and we'll crack in. This is pack number one. If I remember correctly. If I pop it open like this on the top and then slide out. This is going so poorly. Okay. We have the code on top. And then we have our cards. I should have them in the right way. I do. Uh, this is the first card. Oh, this is a new one. Cool, we're off to a good start. That's probably about the last one I need. Really hard to see because it's like in the shadow. But it's uh, Lu Ludicolo. I don't know. Whatever that is. I'm sure that means something to something. We'll use our new tin to put it in. Hang on, hang on. Pull those out. We'll throw all the cards in the in the tin. That's a good place to put them. Card number two, Bulbasaur. We have a few of these, but always good to have more. I like I like Bulbasaur, so it's not that big of a deal. Unlike this thing, damn it, we have so many Morlulls, so freaking many of them. And number four. Charmander! Hey! That's a good one. I like Charmander. have a bunch of him, too. So, started off good with uh, one brand new card. Everything else, though, was a duplicate. I don't know why, but this one, all of a sudden, all the codes are face up. <sighs> Big pain in my butt. Not really. Card number one. Detective Pikachu himself. Cool design there. Different than the one that comes in the Detective Pikachu case file. Card number two, another Charmander. Card number three, a Jigglypuff. And card number four, a Bulbasaur. We have a lot of Jigglypuffs. A lot of Jigglypuffs. A lot of Jigglypuffs. And... What's his face? Um... Jigglypuff, Snubble, Magikarp, and something else. I think there may be a fourth one that we are uh, that we see pretty consistently. Don't see the Bulbasaurs, the Charmanders all that much, um, or Machamp. There's our top card. Oh, speaking of Machamp, right on cue, sir. Thanks for stopping by. We have a couple of you. Snubble. Have a lot of you. Uh, and a Psyduck. Psyduck has been more common lately. Um, I think he was new in like the second one I did. And then there have been a lot of them since. Kind of like in uh, Grand Theft Auto. When you're like, oh, I really want this car. And then you find it. Or then you can't find it. And you can't find it forever. And you're looking for it. And you're looking for it. And then you get into it. And it's everywhere all the time. It's like, oh, cool. Where was this 20 minutes ago when I was looking for it? Card number one, this is, oh yeah. This one I think might be my favorite just because of the pose. <laughs> Slocking. Hell yeah. Uh, this is... Uh, pack number four, by the way. Magikarp, bound to see you eventually. Card number uh, three in pack number four, Jigglypuff. And then a Lickitung. Got a lot of him lately, too. I don't even know. I wonder if there's a, a place to see if I have all of the um, all of the cards. Because I don't know if I do. Do not have this one. Cool. A Mewtwo. That's helpful. I have the the Mewtwo GX from the, um, whatever it's called, from the de detective case box. But I didn't have that one. Lickitung. Yeah. I got, I thought I said Lakitu, but I said Lickitung. Charmander. And Jigglypuff. So, so, so far...
Oops. Pulled two brand news and one, or and the rest are old. This is pack number six. It's getting going to be harder and harder to find new characters that I don't already have. First card I pull out is always the code card. <laughs> Give me something good. I'm a champ. I will. I'll take him a champ. I, I like him a champ. He looks good crossing the street. Or helping the people cross the street. A Bulbasaur. Another Magikarp. And a Snubble. Alright. This is it. This is the final pack. This is pack number 7. Number 5, 10, 14, uh, 16, 23. 23rd pack. 23 times 4 is a lot. And I don't want to think about it. Alright. First cat card, as always. That thing. If there are any new cards left, this is the pack that I need them in. A ditto. Not super common, but a good card. I just think it's really cute. A Bulbasaur. Last card. Final card. Final card. Card number 93. 92. Card number 92. 20, 23 times 4. Card number 92. Here we go. It will probably be a Magikarp. It's a Charmander. Okay. Alright. So in that pack, two brand new Pokemon uh, cards specific to the Detective Pikachu. I don't have a lot of Pokemon cards. I have more um, the Detective Pikachu cards than anything. So there are going to be a lot of duplicates of those. And... Uh, the Sun and Moon cards are a little bit better about getting some new stuff, so. <sighs> I, hope, I hope that helps me have a complete set, but I don't know. I do not know. This opened terribly. This didn't open well at all. Another code. Code card. I should, I should pull all those out and do something with them. I don't know what, but something. All right, so we have 11 cards in here. It says 10 additional game cards, but I think it's 10 and then, like, an energy, which is always good. So we have this trainer. May actually have this card, but I don't know. I'll put that off to the side. This thing. Oh, an energy card. Counter energy. Okay. I don't know what that means at all. Sin Sinico, Sinico, Sinico. It's kind of cute. It uh, I think it goes well with that energy card I just got, or maybe not. I don't know. Don't know. But that's uh, card number three in the first Pokemon we've gotten. Another energy card. Ooh, that one looks nice. That one looks very nice. Milotic. I think. I don't know how to pronounce that. Card looks kind of cool. Character looks fine. Uh, stage 1 looks like a weird fish. Fish that kind of looks like a pineapple. I'm sure you won't be able to see that. Because it's very small on the card. Ooh. We have a shiny card. We have the opposite of the card we just got. With this character. Which is... Uh, Maulio? I don't know. Um, Molly... Molly. Kind of a cool card. Hey, Snubble. Nope, just kidding. Sweenub. Uh, I think we have this card. Once or twice, maybe. Was that a Machamp? No, it's a Mankey. Jeez Louise. I should know this, because I the the only knowledge of Pokemon cards I have are the first first generation. Card number nine. This thing. Oh, Aaron. Aaron. Alright. Kind of cool. Card number 10. 
is this thing. Corp -ish. I don't know. Looks interesting. Little, like, little crab man thing. And then finally a ghastly. Nice. Nice. It's cool to see older, the older Pokemon still in, um, um, still in rotation in the sun and moon, sun and moon packs. Uh, so that one, in case I didn't show it, because I don't think I did. Look at how poorly that opened. Like, ripped down the side and all over. That was the, uh, Crimson Invasion pack. This one is the Guardians Rising. Guardians Rising pack. This is the last one we're doing. This is it. For Pokemon as far as this stuff is concerned. Detective Pikachu is concerned. Welcome to the stream. This one, by the way, thank you, uh, opened really nicely. Look at that. Look at how look at how nicely that opened. The other pack couldn't open that nicely. Top one, code card, as always. Card number one. This fucking thing. Choice brand. Okay. Who cares? Uh, I don't know. That's a Pokemon. Metang? Metang? I have never seen that in my life. Cleafery? Cleafable. My bad. Cool. Cleafable. Cleafable? Cleafable? Yeah, Cleafery. I guess it would be Clee because it was it's Cleafery or Cleafery in the first evolution. Energy card for was that fighting? Ground? Dirt? I don't know. Another one of those. Oh. This one I didn't look at it close enough. There's a little uh little texture to it. I don't know how well that shows on camera, but I'm sure turning it this way doesn't. I'm sure that helps a lot. Um, okay. Cool card thing. Looks like an electrical. No? What the hell is that? Who? Um, Jan GMOO. Jan Gamo. Ooh. Gamangu? Gamangu, Bangaboo, something. I don't know. I don't even know what kind of kind of Pokemon that is. Here's this thing. I don't know what that is. Consony. Continuous tumble. Flip a coin until you get tails. The attack does ten times the damage for each heads. I don't know anything about playing Pokemon. I just. Like kind of get kind of like getting the cards. Oh, what is that? Isn't that an Alolan Sand Shrew? Hell yeah! Cool. That's a cool card. This little thing. Mudbray. I may have a duplicate of him somewhere. It's either a duplicate or a different uh, picture. I don't know. Maybe it's his evolution. It's all starting to blur together. A lowland geodude? Cool. I think I might have this character as well. Or is it Graveler? I have an a lowland Graveler, maybe. I don't remember. But that's that's pretty neat. An electric type Pokemon. And finally Oh my chap. My chop. Oh my chop. Well nice art. I screwed his name up real bad. There you go. That's it. That's uh, the final the final one. Remember when I was like, hey, I'm going to use this lunchbox for all the cards. And then I proceeded to put all of them right next to it instead of in it. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, it's been fun. I like doing this. And I had a good time. Hopefully you did too. Uh, if you liked it, feel free to scroll down and hit that subscribe button on YouTube. That uh, makes me feel good. And then let me know what you got. If you got anything in these. And then how much of the Pokemon lunchbox you were able to fill if you got it and then uh, stay tuned for more content we'll see you next time